everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video we're going to discuss creating a Facebook page for your organization. This is a video tutorial we've done in the past, and it's been a pretty popular one, and this video tutorial walks you through creating that Facebook page for yourself or for your organization through the new Facebook timeline features. So it's an updated video uh, of an oldie but a goodie. So uh, just a quick moment before we jump into that video, I wanted to do a quick shameless promotion for orgspring.org. You're probably familiar with orgspring.com where we list our tutorials and videos and our blog. Um, and this is orgspring.org. It's actually the new nonprofit arm of our company. And you can go to orgspring.org, and when we launch in the late summer of 2012, you'll be notified if you just put your email in this little notify me box. Basically what we're doing is our mission is to provide websites for other nonprofits. Our mission is to help you fulfill your mission. So we're going to be providing custom websites for free for nonprofits, including things like uh, event management, online donation tools. Uh, really cool social media integration with the custom websites that we've designed in the past for profit companies we're now going to provide for free for nonprofit companies it's a really cool organization our round of funding has already started and uh, we will be up live and running in just a few months so check that out uh, so now on to the tutorial so first thing you'll want to do obviously is head to your Facebook page and to create a Facebook page, obviously, you need a personal Facebook account. So here we are with our stock John Smith Facebook account. And uh, there's not too much information here. Obviously, this is a page that we don't maintain. But uh, up here, you'll see your, your name, your profile. And uh, you can go to the home button, which is the home profile or the feed. And, and that's where we are here. And you can click on this little down arrow and see some of your account settings. Now, if you want to create a Facebook page, there are several ways to do it. One of the easiest ways is just to come up into the search bar and just hit create a page. And you'll see one of the top things is create a new Facebook page. And this is an app from Facebook, obviously. So we'll click on that. That brings you to the Facebook page. Now, if you look in the address bar, you'll also know the address for this page. Or you'll notice the address for this page is facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create dot php. So here we are and you have several different options local business or place, company, organization, institution, brand or product, artist, band or public figure, entertainment, cause or community. Now you can list your organization as a cause or community in this area even if you're not say a registered IRS tax exempt like a 501c3 but to be registered actually through the Facebook Causes program and solicit donations, you will have to have uh, certain organizations. So just know that moving forward. Um, generally, if you're starting a company or some type of organization or institution, you're going to come here and type company, organization, or institution. Uh, if you're selling a particular product or you are a brand like, say, Coca-Cola, you might choose this. So we're going to move forward and just type company, organization, or institution. And it's going to flip up a screen that asks you to choose a category, which is a drop down and it includes a lot of stuff. So maybe take just a moment and put that in here. And you might want to put something like education or depending on what type of entity you are, you'll put that in there. And we're just going to type in here that we are a nonprofit organization. And then you'll put your company name down. So let's just say we are the John Smith education foundation and then uh, we encourage you to read the Facebook terms to see what you can or cannot do with the Facebook page and once you've done that click agree and then get started and you've essentially created your page and you need to add some things you can add a profile picture here by either uploading from your computer or importing from a website and you can also skip that we're not going to add a photo right now. And then provide some basic information about John Smith Education Foundation. So we provide educational support to other nonprofits and And then down here, for example, your website, Twitter page, or Yelp link. Now, obviously, we haven't set up a Twitter page yet, so we'll just link to 
the org spring Twitter. And then we could add another site, maybe just a website. And then if you had another Facebook page or something that you wanted to link to, you can add that here as well. <clears throat> we'll save this info. And that's pretty much it. What you'll see here now, of course, starting from here down, is your new timeline page. And it will guide you through uh, with some of these things, with these little pop-up boxes. And up here is your admin panel, and we'll go to that in a second. We'll, obviously, it's asking us if we want to like this page since we created it, and we might as well like it. And then it's asking us if we want to invite friends. And this might be a good thing for you to do. Once you... Um, start your page. You want to make sure that your friends know about it and this will link to your other Facebook fans and followers and also you can input an email address like if you have Gmail you can input your Gmail address and password and actually doesn't remember the password so you don't have to worry about security and it'll find those friends and send them a message that you're now online. Now what I would do here is click next because you don't necessarily want to invite people yet because your page isn't filled out. You're going to want to put pictures and maybe even some tabs and some special stuff on your page. So we can click next. It's going to ask us to do this. In reality, what we want to do is um, skip this type of stuff. So the page is created and we are done at this point. Now Facebook will continue to take you through your pages with this little example text box that pops up. It'll ask you to do things like post on your timeline and get started, but really here we'll just click skip because you don't need to post anything until you get some of your other stuff set up first. When you do that and skip through all the messages, you will be shown your admin panel and it allows you to uh, see and administer your site. So you'll see things like notifications, if somebody shares something on your page, it'll pop up here. Any new likes, meaning if someone likes your page, it'll show up here. Insights are kind of like the analytics for your page. You could see how many views, how many fans, followers, etc. It'll give you some general tips down here. And then any kind of messages that might come in from people who are sending you or the page messages. And then there's a menu up here to give you some information about managing. You can edit your page. Uh, ban certain users from posting on your page, building an audience uh, by inviting email contacts. Again, the reason you didn't need to do the email contact invitation before is you can do that at any time using this area of the page. For now, we're going to hide this, and what we're seeing here is just the straight Facebook page. You have the ability to add a cover, which you'll do here, and I'm going to put a link on screen so that you can see We've also created some Facebook timeline templates, which you can use in Photoshop or as a photoeditor.png type of file to add a timeline cover. There is a specific size in terms of width and height that you can optimize this cover, as well as your profile picture, some of these tabs, and some of the other things that you might see here on your timeline. But basically, that's how you create a page. This page is now created, and you can go in and start to edit activity, post to your page, and you can also go back and link to your personal account. You'll notice here, if you click home, it brings you back to your personal account. Now once you're in your personal account, there are two ways that you can get back to your new page account. The first is listed in your folder tree here on the left side of your simple Facebook page. This is the page that you would see if you're just in your home page looking at your feed. Obviously right here, John Smith Education Foundation, you click on that and you're taken back to the John Smith Education Foundation page or whatever the name you added for your page. And you'll see here again we could click on the button admin panel, there's one notification and we can see what that's about. John Smith liked it, and obviously that was from before when we liked our own page. We'll go back to the John Smith page. This is the actual John Smith timeline profile page. If we clicked home, this is the standard stream page for Facebook. The other way to get to the education page is to type it in the search bar. And since this isn't a well-known page, you might need to be very specific with it. For example, we can type John Smith, and it knows that John Smith Education Foundation is a nonprofit organization, and uh, we just created this so it's going to be up top. So you can click on that, and it'll also take you back to your page. Again, we'll hide the admin panel. 
So this is a few quick ways to navigate around your page and interacting on a timeline page for your organization is very much like interacting on a timeline page for your personal self. Again, you can see what those two look like. Here's the Education Foundation and here is the John Smith personal timeline page. Very similar. So again, just to get back to the John Smith page, we'll click to our home and we will click here that brings us back to the John Smith Education Foundation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions please drop us a line at orgspring.com that's our main blog and tutorial section and uh, once again please do go and visit orgspring.org. If you are an organization or a nonprofit yourself you will benefit from getting a free website and other tools that we plan on adding through our nonprofit in the coming months. Sign up, click notify and we'll send you a message as soon as that site is launched. Thanks again.